Hey friends, let's talk a uh, whole food plant-based diet prep today. Okay, so the first thing I do every Sunday morning is I come up, I wake up, and I preheat the oven, then I make my coffee. Okay, so when the oven's preheating and the coffee is brewed, I start prepping my vegetables because I'm gonna be roasting a lot of vegetables. So the first thing I always do is broccoli because I buy it pre-cut, pre-cleaned, ready to go. So I throw that on the cookie sheet with a little bit of avocado oil, this massive bottle from Costco, of course. And then I sprinkle it with my secret seasoning. Ooh, what's in the bottle, you ask? Okay, so instead of pulling out my pepper, my garlic, and my onion powder every time I wanna cook, I just combine the three in here because I use that on basically everything. So um, I just got this little shaker. Excuse me, please don't yell like that. Okay, hold on one second. So I just put it in here and then I shake that over everything I do. So I've done my broccoli and now I'm about to get my, um, my butternut squash going. So I'm gonna put that in the oven for 350, probably about 40 minutes, cause butternut squash is a little bit more dense and we're just gonna keep on roasting. Oh my goodness, crazy business just happened. I emptied out my secret container. Armor, armor, armor. So um, it's time to refill it. So I might as well show you guys. So I just got this at like Marshall's. You wanna see? It's just an empty container, we're gonna fill it. You wanna help me? Yeah. Okay, you can help me, sure. Let's let the toddler help. Okay, let's move the broccoli out of the way. I'll let you water. Okay, so here's the container. Okay, so first we're gonna do some pepper. I'm gonna help you a little bit, just a little bit. Okay, pour the container in. Pepper, shake, 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 shake. Err, that's good, that's more than enough. So that's about a third of the container. You wanna do some garlic? Huh. Okay, shake the garlic in. Shake, 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 shake. We do a little bit more garlic. Oh, God bless you. Hmm, lovely. Okay, <clears throat> now some onion. Whoa, good job. <laughs> Did the powder get you? So this is um, chopped onion, grainy <laughs> garlic, and pepper. Oh no! <coughs> Woo! The dust got us all. Woohoo! Thanks for your help. Let's mix it up. Okay, now we're gonna mix it up. You wanna mix it a little bit? Yeah. Okay. Wow! Great job. Mix, mix, mix. This is our secret seasoning. Whoa! Whoa. Me. Yeah. Mix, yeah. mix, mix. Good job. Oh. All right, you want to help me put the top on? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Watch your fingers. I don't want to pinch them. Okay, push. Urgh. Hey, great job. And then the cap? The cap. Hey, high five. Thanks, sous chef. Okay, now while my veggies are roasting, I'm going to start prepping my tofu. We buy our tofu from Costco, and it's firm tofu. You get four packages. An apple. Yeah, you got an apple in each of our boxes. <clears throat> so I just cut open the box, drain out the fluid, and then I took this rectangle here and I cut them into threes. So just three kind of like sheets, if you will. Then I put them on, that's right, three sheets. Then I put them on a cookie sheet with paper towels underneath. You could use a, um, like a kitchen towel if you wanted. And then I put some um, paper towels on top, and then I'm gonna weigh it down. So I'm gonna use my cast iron skillet, weigh it down, and just kind of let the pressure get the moisture out of it. Once that's all done, we'll dice it up and make little squares and get. Thank you. And then we'll get going with our seasoning. So that'll take about 15 minutes to let that moisture press out. Okay. So, while all of our other stuff is baking and roasting, wait, 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 you have to wait. We are gonna cut up some more of our vegetables. Whoa. So, this is our cucumber. This is what you and Manny have for snack. Okay. I'll put it there. We're gonna put it on yours, but I'm gonna peel it for you so you can cut it for us. Sound good? Yeah. Okay. Cut. Cut, cut, cut. Do you have your cutter with you? Yeah. Oh, great. 
Wait. Aww. Wait till mommy says. Okay, mom. I'm just getting it ready for you so that you can work hard. Work hard? Yeah. See, we have to clean up as we go so that we keep a nice clean kitchen and it's easier for us to work. Okay. Okay. So, hold it with one hand, wait, and then this part goes like this, remember? Like this. Chop. Good. Keep chopping. Okay, in the meantime, I'm going to start preparing my Brussels sprouts. So, I buy them pre-cleaned and ready to go. Go nice and slow. Great job. But, um, I find that Brussels sprouts taste better when they're roasted and they're a little bit smaller than the big chunks. It has to stay down on the cutting board. Watch your fingers. There you go, good job. So I cut, um, like I cut a Brussels sprout like this into like little, three little slivers. And then that's how I roast it. So I'm gonna get cutting away on, I have two bags of Brussels sprouts from Costco and Maria Victoria's gonna keep cutting our cucumber and we're just gonna truck along. So here we go. Okay, so our tofu is done being pressed. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take each of these sheets of tofu and, oh, put that down, please. Thanks, mm -hmm. sweet helper. How's your cucumber? And I'm going to just slice them into like little, like almost like a french fry type thing and then dice them. You want to cut another cucumber? Okay. And then I'm just going to cut them into little squares or cubes, actually, actually. So little tiny tofu cubes oh. and then i put them in a bowl and i'll do all of my tofu um all of my packages i'll cut everything up right now and then i'm going to season it with some bragg's liquid aminos which is basically like a soy sauce yeah. it's just a natural yeah. soy sauce alternative so um it tastes like soy sauce not exactly but it tastes like soy sauce and then i also do um sesame oil so um, this is just from like the Asian section at the market. Hey! Hey! hey. And we do the hot sesame oil. Um, do you want to say hi? Hi. Hi. Are we making tofu? Yeah. yeah. So um, I will do. Hi, I will do one teaspoon of Bragg's hi, aminos pizza. for hi, every two thirds a cup of yeah. tofu. So, I just measure that out um, at the end when I'm doing the seasoning, and then we'll put it in the air fryer. I do about a cup and a half of tofu at a time in the air fryer. Um, let me show you. So the air fryer has this copper-colored basket in it, and it's pretty, like you can see how it's pretty substantially deep. So I don't like it to be too full because I like the air to be able to move around everything and evenly cook. So we put it in at 350 for 15 minutes, and then at seven minutes, I go and I shake it really well just to make sure that like everything gets tossed around a little bit and that all of the pieces of tofu are getting evenly cooked by the air. So that's my method and it works amazing. It's so delicious. Like I could seriously eat tofu at every meal now. In fact, I eat tofu like twice a day. Um, so if you have any questions, let me know. If you don't have an air fryer, but you wanna get one, let me know. I can tell you which one we have and send you a link if you're interested, um, like an Amazon link. And I'm just gonna keep trucking along here and I'll show you what the tofu looks like when it comes out the first batch. So here we go. Okay, so our tofu is seasoned with Bragg's liquid aminos. Bragg's liquid aminos. And a little bit of sesame oil, hot sesame oil. My husband prefers the hot stuff. And you can see it looks delicious. So I'm going to put it in the air fryer and I'll show you what that looks like. So I just fill the bottom. Fill, not feel. Weird. Ah, no, tofu down. What happened? I dropped a piece of tofu. Huh? I know, it's a sad day. Okay. Oh my God, so, yes. See, I don't like bunch it up too much. Then I put that bad boy in, hit power, I go down to 350, 
and then it defaults to, I'm gonna do 13 minutes so it's not too crispy. And then at seven minutes, I'm gonna go over and I'm gonna shake it up real good so that it mixes all around and some pieces don't get harder than other pieces. So let's see what it looks like in 13 minutes. So we're at 350 for seven minutes. So I'm gonna open it up and just give it a good shake. So you see how some pieces are getting a little bit browned but the other sides are white? Giving it a shake will make sure that they get all the yumminess and crispiness around the whole thing. Put it back in. Seven more minutes at 350, it'll be in. There's your perfectly fried tofu. Yummy, yummy. That's about 13 minutes in the air fryer. Okay, so I'm also all about the gadgets and whatever is gonna make life easier and faster when it comes to prepping. And this was one of the first gadgets I ever bought when I started food prepping about a year ago. And it's just a little um, like mushroom strawberry cutter and you can see it just slices and dices and it's just you guys it's amazing look check this out like perfect little mushroom slices and so um instead of hand chopping all my mushrooms i just use this because i think it's quick it's easy and it's fun and if you were um, cutting up like a lot of strawberries i would use it on that too so just one of my little tips of the day is my mushroom cutter Okay, and I know I've done it before, but I'm gonna show you guys again how to cut a bell pepper. So I cut off the cap and I pop out the stem. There's no reason to waste this. It's great bell pepper. Okay, then I put my hand inside and I just kind of rotate around. Now there's still gonna be some of like the bell peppery goodness. There's two ways that people like to cut bell peppers. Some people cut it so that it opens it up and then they will just like run their knife along inside to remove all of this. But I don't really like doing it that way because it makes me nervous. Okay, but if, if this is your gig, cool. Okay, so now it's all cleaned out and then um, you can just chop away. I found that it's easiest to cut it from the inside because the skin doesn't get in the way. See how easy it cuts when you cut it this way? Now, if I cut it skin side, it's kind of a harder, it's kind of a harder cut. You know what I mean? And you guys, by no means am I an expert. In fact, my husband even said the other day um, that Sir Latov is offering some knife skill classes and he was wondering if I would like to do it with him. And I was like, heck yes, because I have no knife skills. So, um, and then I just take the top and I just kind of like, dice it into pieces also because there's no reason not to eat that now if i were doing this the way that i think is easiest instead of like using the knife to cut it out you guys i literally just like twist it and i just pull out the like the little insides that we don't want to eat and i shake out the seeds and we're good to go um and then i just cut it in half hi buddy you can't see manny but he's like right here <laughs> and then see just easy little dice it easy little cut so you can see how yummy and crispy the Brussels sprouts look so I roasted them at 350 for about 25 30 minutes and I just checked it at 25 minutes and then put it in for a little bit longer so that they'd get nice and crispy and again it's just a little bit of avocado oil and my secret seasoning so Brussels sprouts mmm okay so the food is all cooked now it just needs to cool I have bell peppers that I did in a cast iron skillet and caramelized onions mushrooms with garlic then we have of course a bunch of broccoli and brussels sprouts don't forget the butternut squash those three were all roasted okay those are our vegetables now for our proteins we have edamame veggie burgers vegan refried beans tofu now guys my favorite it's gonna be my healthy carbs, which is brown rice. I'm just gonna wait for it to cool, and then I will create all my little meals out of all this little awesomeness here. And that's my food prep.